even in odd properties of functions, goes as follows. If you have an even function, if you were to drop in a negative input, so negative x, the even function is just going to basically eat the negative and give you back what you started with, so f of x. If you have an odd function, same idea, you're going to put in a negative input, and the odd function is going to throw it back out, giving you a negative output. So if we have our trig functions, the inputs are angles. So if it's even, then f of negative theta will just give you back what you started with, f of theta. For an odd function, if you put in a negative angle, it's going to throw back out a negative output. Okay, so let's look at this in terms of angles. So let me just call some angle theta. So then negative theta would go the other way. Using a point on the terminal side of theta, let me call that xy. So then a point on the terminal side of negative theta reflected over would be x negative y. Okay, so let's look at maybe the sine of theta. Okay, this radius is not assumed to be 1, so I should probably call this r. So then sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is y over r. Sine of negative theta would be negative y over r. So these are actually the opposites of each other. So since I have a negative output, this is going to be an odd function. Okay, cosine of theta, adjacent over hypotenuse, so x over r. And then cosine of negative theta, adjacent is still x over r. So these are exactly the same output. So anytime you get the same output, so the negative has no bearing on anything, this would be an even function. And then let's look at tangent. So the tangent opposite over adjacent, so of theta we would have y over x. For tangent of negative theta, we would have negative y over x. So these are opposites of each other, so this is odd. Okay, so sine and tangent are odd functions, which also means that their reciprocals are odd, so cosecant and cotangent. So then the only even functions are cosine and its reciprocal, which is secant. So using this concept, let's find the exact value using even and odd properties. So for example, let's say I have the sine of negative 30 degrees. Since sine is an odd function, that negative will just throw out front. So now I can just evaluate sine of 30 degrees and put a negative on that. Okay, let's try a cosine. Let's say cosine of negative 3 pi over 4. Because cosine is an even function, the negative is just going to get eaten, so this becomes cosine of 3 pi over 4. Okay, so that would be negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, let's try a tangent. Let's say the tangent of negative pi over 4. Because tangent is an odd function, that negative will come out front. So then all I need to know is tangent of pi over 4, which is 1, and attach a negative. 